Music licensing reimagined. Hey, what's going on, guys? Happy Wednesday. Sorry we're running a little late. Um, technical difficulties. Gotta love it, man. But Things happen. Yeah, it's honestly, but it's been a great week. The weather here in Nebraska is beautiful today. Yeah. You know, Jared, how's your week been? You know, honestly, uh, I've been I've been, so I've been, been filling in on a little bit of the phones, um, you know, and I love it. I, you know, we've got so many people asking us, hey, what are certain, you know, how do I find shippers on here or how do I look up a carrier on here? A lot of good questions and they're mm-hmm. sort of, you know, all encompassing of our platform right. and that's why we are excited about today yeah because today we're sitting here i know can i apologize yeah. we're running a little late yep. are we on yes we're here <laughs> we're sorry we had some uh, technical difficulties with our deal yep. uh but yeah we're just talking about the platform today yep. because every question we've had in the last 72 hours mm-hmm. all over the place how do i do this on the platform how do i do this on the platform and we want to help because right. uh there's some great things on our platform that we want to just expose a little bit more yeah and we just want to under, get you guys to understand to our vision um and hopefully that you can you know start utilizing this tool to kind of help with your whatever you're going through yeah so. yeah so sorry about leaving being yeah, late sorry about that you know i want to say any questions that you guys have feel free to just throw them out yes. whatever it is yep. you know it could be a sales question uh it can be a, a e-carrier check question it can be anything business i'm here you know, let's yeah. let's chat it out. Let's so we're we're here to kind of work through the gambit. Nobody's yeah. got a time limit on us. We can just kind of chill and go. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So let's 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 take it off. Take it yeah. off, Nate. Yeah. So you know, I'm obviously going to show the screen today. I'm going to run a couple searches from some of the questions I had just from this week, um, and some of the things I see on Facebook groups because I like to kind of get on there and just kind of see what everyone's you know going through today or what some of the struggles. And honestly, a lot of it has been vetting carriers. Mm. Um, and most of you that have been here before understand that we now have a free vetting tool. Yeah. Um, and we have we have such great subscribers and such great community. I had a, a person call me yesterday saying, hey, the free vetting tool went down. We got it up and going. It's ready to, to be used. Um, just simply go to eCarryCheck.com. And I'll share my screen here really quick. And I'll give you an idea what this looks like. So here's our free, here's our e-carry check website. Can they see that? Yes, they can okay. all see this okay. here. And what we did, you know, simply just typing in those MCDOT numbers here. Yeah. And then vet, you can vet them. I mean, you can see how many power units they have, how many inspections they've had within the last year. Um, even you'll you'll see their phone number um, and why that's important. Um, you know, if you have a carry that calls in on a load off the load board, mm. and for some reason the numbers aren't matching up, no inspections, right. sometimes that could be a red flag. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is interesting just from a sheer fact of, you know, a, you know, a, everything you continue to hear. Well, how do I avoid double brokering? Yes. How do I invo- uh, avoid the fraudulent? Yep. We don't, we want to fight this as a company. Exactly. Our stance as a company, here it is, right here. We'll make it black and white. We don't think you should charge for a friggin' betting tool. Right. It's right there for right. you. Right. So we've put in our algorithm for free right there on eCarrierCheck.com. Exactly. So, so you can put in any MC, any DOT, right. and we'll take it down. Get just you just grab one of your autofills and just show them what we have here. Yeah, let's take this guy. There you go. Let's just do it. Let's just let's. I know it'll ask you for a robot, a lot of friggin' constant, but right, just go into them. Go into the. Uh, the PBSJ, I love, there I love that you have PBSJ. Right? PBSJ well, logistics. Are you just thinking about lunch? I, I was. I didn't need to lunch. <laughs> What's going on? It's kind of been crazy. Yeah, so. I don't love that. You're just thinking about, about lunch here, but we'll we'll break it down. We yeah. tell you, are they active? You know, are they a high-risk carrier? You know, are they showing straight trucks, right? Are they showing tractors? Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the thing. With the way we filter these companies down, yep. right, if – if a straight truck guy calls you on a flatbed load, mm-hmm. you might think twice. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's that, it's that simple. If if these straight truck 
straight truck companies come in and say, hey, we're a van carrier, we're a reefer carrier, we're a flatbed carrier. You've got to do more due diligence. Right. And I think that part of that due diligence can either be, like I said, match those phone numbers that you see on the carrier check, match the emails, maybe throw out some addresses, see if they can come up with the right address. Right. Lots of things that you can kind of, or steps that you can be taking to understand or get a good feel for that carrier. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, right here, you know, we, we take a lot of time, that carrier profile, yep. you know, if you just read this, right, they're functioning as a straight truck owner operator. They're equipped with a straight truck and no trailers. Mm -hmm. Right. If they're calling in on a flatbed load or a reefer load, you've got an issue. That's exactly. There's more to do. Are right. we the end all be all? No. no, 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 no. But we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Exactly. I'll tell you that. I mean, there's really good info here. You know, obviously, active. Um, you know, less than six months. You know, authority was transferred. You know, within the last two years. So there's really good details here to kind of help you with that bedding. So. I think that's something interesting too. Is when when those those authorities have been transferred. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to watch them. You know, that's something that's really important. I, I know, you know, the, the old saying was, hey, if they don't have inspections, don't hire them. Well, now, you know, if they have inspections, what are they calling in on? Right. You know what I mean? Right. And so uh, being transferred in the last two years, you know, is something to, to have you go through and say, should we even hire them or not? Right. Um, that should, again, we're not the end all be all. But why not use that? I think what else is really important on the, on this demo is we have a directory here. Right. You know, if you're a dispatcher, right, browse by state, carry a look up about us, you know, they can just go in and actually start to look up, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. Google. There we go. Yep. We'll start to look up companies. Yep. You know, we, we give it all right here. Right. The FMCSA will show it. But we like to tell the story, exactly. right? Yep. So it, it, there's nothing wrong with the FMCSA. This is where we get all our data. But we like to suck it through our straw. We like mm -hmm. to put it through our filters, and we'll actually give you uh, those those you know risk radars, operating right. authorities, and things like that. Yeah, and we make it super easy to read too and understand. So yeah, and if you guys don't understand something, you know, just let us know. We'll yeah, make sure. Yeah, we, we take calls on this all the time. Right. Um, but yeah, but otherwise, you know, for those of you that are actually on the site. You know, Ken, I know you probably got some questions. Feel free to start dropping them in the chat and let's talk through those, right? Yeah. But for those of you that are actually using the site, you know, obviously there's more to our carrier vetting there as well. You can put them into a list, you know, make sure you can monitor your carriers, those ones that you have relationships with. You know, let's let's get notified when their insurance is about to fall yeah. off or maybe their authority or maybe it's driving around to a wreck, right? So there's good things that you can be monitoring on these carriers that you're using every day. Yeah. So. I, and honestly, I mean, our, our, our daily monitoring goes even above and beyond right. just those people that you're selecting. Mm -hmm. You have the ability right. to go into this right here. Yeah. Just walk us through this because this isn't just the people that you're monitoring. You can get a list emailed to you every mm -hmm. day, every month. Right here, right here. To walk through this. Yeah, this is your monitoring. Let's get an idea of what carriers, you know, are maybe just recently added. You know, mm. I want to get an email on those guys, right? Maybe I'm a new broker and I want to start building relationships yep. with maybe new authority carriers, yeah. right? So there's obviously other ways we can kind of go about this, but that's just one strategy I yep. figure out. Yep. Um, monitoring, right? And then here's some prospecting. So there's a lot of good things here that we kind of go into, and I think next week what we're going to be doing. It's kind of diving deeper into the section yeah. here and, and give you guys a better understanding. Um, but just so you know, go to your settings, tag what you would like to be updated on, and you'll be getting those through email. Yeah, we'll, we'll hammer those out. Yep. Uh, you might just make sure, you know, if our emails do go to junk or mm -hmm. something, yes, mark them as safe uh, mm -hmm. or mark them as not junk, and then they'll just yeah. continue to come in right. uh, every day. Yeah, and like okay. I said, just reach out to us and let's chat. Let's walk through it, okay? Um, but obviously, oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So I looked at an intermodal yesterday within 20 miles. And I noticed there was an email attached to each customer. How dated or accurate is that email? Great question, Ken. Go for it. Yeah. So we're talking, um, you know, when there's a change to an email or phone number, um, what else am I missing? Address, mm -hmm. maybe they add some equipments. So those types of updates will actually be within our inner system. Um, 
monthly. Yeah. Um, that's just, you know, the FMCSA, FMCSA is sending us that. Yep. You know, I wish we could have it faster, but that's just kind of, you know, whenever we're getting that, those updates like that, that's a really good question. Yeah. It, how dated are the accurate are those emails? You know, those they're, are the emails that they utilize right. when they signed up with the FMCSA. If they right. update those with the FMCSA, then we get them. Yeah. Um, as we continue to work on V3 of, you know, scraping mm -hmm. and all that craziness and we have more data than the fmcsa which is coming yep. um I, you know we'll show more emails we'll show more contact information we'll show more information right the yeah no great 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 question there because i was actually cold calling some brokers this morning and a lot of the numbers went to oh it's not active or this right. i'm assuming maybe they either changed their phone number yeah. or hopefully not but they probably went out of business yeah. but so yeah, so they're, they're accurate as long as they're updating with FMCSA. I, and a lot of people don't want to get, you know, they change that email or phone number within the first 90 days because they get so much outreach. Right. 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 And so I, I get that. So yeah. just to kind of give you a quick understanding. Yeah. And, and there's a few things too that like, you know, let me just show you an example here. Uh, I was working through this yesterday with another brokerage and we were looking at drive. No, we were looking at tankers. Food grade. We're yeah. talking food grade. Oh, I love this. So they had a specific commodity. They're trying to find carriers that haul that commodity. So for those of you that are have never seen this, well, yeah, if you hover over those little images, you know, the, the tanker picture, we'll give you an idea of, okay, this guy's doing liquid gas, yep. right? Well, this company yesterday was trying to find food grade. Mm. So we have this commodity keyword search that you can kind of get, you know, creative with, well, food grade. And then we started running some searches that way. Um, and they started building their pipeline. Um, do just food for the sake of yeah, it. Don't do food. Just great. Do food. Just do I food. think that's what we did yesterday. I don't yeah. think we we're out of Atlanta. I think we we're in Missouri. But, okay. But you see how this can be helpful to find those carriers that are. And not everyone actually thinks about when they're registering. What you're looking for is when you're registering. Yeah, yeah. So food grade and ingredients, ingredients in bulk, right? So in this guy, if you scroll down just to scotch, you know, oil and liquid food, right? So right. Our, what our system is doing is looking for that specific type of food or right. that word food. So in that commodity keyword, I mean, imagine putting eggs, plastic, oil, yeah. uh, food grade oil, vegetable yeah. oil, or um, I mean, there's a variety of things, mm -hmm. tequila. I mean, yeah. you know, probably in a different part of the country, but yeah. you, you, yeah. See where, you know, I'm not. <laughs> You know, I love tequila. I don't yeah, I get it. I'm I just know. throwing it out there. But <laughs> I'm more so chilled than anything. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, line, you know, you have to take the time and look up some of those products because that's how they have it. But we're looking for those things. Yeah. So we did we did the search, you know, trying to find that specific commodity. More importantly, they were trying to find more carriers that are running a specific lane. Right. Um, and this is quite interesting because they saw a – what was the word they used? They saw more carriers of this type of running that lane. Mm -hmm. So they're like, I wonder why, what's going on. So they were actually looking up carriers in a specific lane. Nice. And they were going through some of their leads. Okay. Um, so it's quite interesting. Um, so what we did, you know, obviously we went to our location and then we did a, a lane search. Mm. I, I want to say it was Missouri to um, Atlanta. We ran so many searches yesterday. And then I believe it was, you know, it was either tanker or drive in one or the other. They have their niche, but I even adding, you know, add the keyword before some of those equipment niches is kind of interesting to do. You know, if you put in the food now, mm -hmm. just put in food for the sake of it. You know, oil and liquid, right? You know, now you're seeing the the pneumatic and van guy. So it's one of those things where, you know, food is not necessarily something you think about. In fact, let's be honest. Yeah. If I started a trucking company today, I'm not sitting there going, yeah, I'm a food grade tanker. Put that in there. Right. No, no, no. They're thinking of, but what if I put sugar in there? Because mm -hmm. I'm hauling sugar. I don't really care. I'm hauling sugar. Right. Or like if you just type that in and just do, just do sugar, sure. just type in the word sugar in there. Right. Anybody show up? No, nobody's showing up. Uh, how about like, uh, 
And this is very specific. This we're doing really, a really, really, really we're doing specific. A you know, we're, we're looking for something really specific. Oil. Do oil. Yeah. And let's just see what shows up. You know what I mean? Like, uh, coils. there's coils, okay, because <laughs> we're always looking for those things. Yep, oil and liquid, liquid right? Yeah, so yeah, you can guy. see how we're, we're, we're trying to search for those things. So that's right. how that search works when you're, right. when you're in there. Right. Um, and, and it's it's a beneficial if you look up eggs or things like that. Right. right. And we're looking for people that are specifically running from Missouri to, to the right. Atlanta area within 150 miles right. with that. So we're looking for a needle in a haystack. Yes. You could have brought that radius out to 300. There's a lot of things you could have done. Right. right, there, right? Exactly. So a lot, exactly. Of, a lot of really specific people exactly. that you can try to find when it comes to those things. Right. We're just trying to give you the how deep can we get now yes. now ken's talking about intermodal right mm -hmm. and i think this is interesting to talk through is it's just our icons real quick can you pop back into the screen we took the time to separate out a lot of different companies go go back go back just to the yeah yeah so you can see we have dry vans reefers flatbeds mm -hmm. those are the first three and that's 80 percent of the work right, right. but you know, there's a lot of other people out that are out there. And so we wanted to make sure that we helped you understand who those people are. Yeah. Okay. And without looking up, you know, we're looking up really specific companies, right. but you can just go into, okay, I need to find intermodal companies that are within a certain area, just located and do like intermodal Houston, you know, for the sake of it. Right. And maybe Ken's got a certain location that he wants to look up. Right. Um, that, he could, that he could give us a rundown on, but you see how there's, you know, there's 16 pages of, of intermodal leads. Right. And good Lord, if you can't find somebody there, I don't know what to tell you. Exactly. Now you might, you might get rid of maybe, you know, the owner operators, or you might just look for small to mid to large, or maybe you just right. like to work with mega because you have really good credit. I don't know, right. whatever it is. Right. Exactly. So, uh, you know, feel free to hit those icons because those icons are really important and we built them just to kind of keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. And for um, same thing when you're looking for shippers, you know, and let's make sure there's no questions, but same thing when you're looking for shippers. If you're in that intermodal world, intermodal, I can't talk to that. It's Holy okay. Cow. It's 215. I might 215 need to Nebraska. Nebraska. Intermodal I, world. Just talking about tequila. I love that. <laughs> um, same thing though. Like you just come over here, hit that icon. Okay. If I'm looking for carriers in that area, I better be looking for some shippers, right? So yeah. Because you can reverse your way into both. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Now, give us a couple tips on what you're when you're looking at intermodal shippers. What are some tips that you can give to mm. everyone here when you're looking at the names? I love that. Because we a, talked about this. Last this week. is a really interesting question because when I look at this, I can eliminate. I can I can literally eliminate mm. some of these people right away. I'm a chassis dealer and willing to look everywhere for new customers. This huge will help me in a large way. So. He's looking at intermodal with 20 miles of me. I noticed there was an email attached. Okay, so I'm a chassis dealer and willing to look at everywhere for new customers. Okay, so okay, I see what I see what he's saying. So he wants to sell these particular, you know, carriers more chassis. Right. 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 Is what he's uh, working so on. So he'll be living in this world. Here. He'll be living in the carrier yep. world. Um, yep. You know, obviously, you're not going to be searching for intermodal in certain parts of the country right, right but where there are inland ports mm -hmm. right and uh, what i mean by that is going to be memphis omaha chicago there, there's a lot of in, inland ports I, it's not fargo north Dakota, right right, right. <laughs> right? Yep. so you just have to look in and just say okay i need to find more intermodals give me a list and then we have the ability to do some interesting stuff right here i just want to kind of point this out if I go to export real quick, Nate, yes, sir. I can just do some stuff. Hold on, hold on, before you push anything. Yep. I can pull out all the cell phone numbers of this particular page. I can pull out the emails of this page. Yep. I can export people that I've selected, or I can just download the first 20 pages. Yeah. And this might be beneficial for Ken to do is maybe take all these pages out. I mean, or you can stay in here too, because we can help you pretty much do everything here. Add them to a list. Um, I had a good question too, since we're talking list. After you download the first 20 pages, since we're talking about that, if you wanted to get 25, you would have to add the extra five on your own. It's pretty simple. Um, but things to remember too, as you start going farther in the list, we try to show you, or we do show you more relevant mm. carriers first. Yeah. You know, we're we're 100% positive they're using intermodal here. Yeah, right? yeah. 
But as we start getting farther back in the leads, they become less relevant. Yeah. I, it's no different than Amazon. Exactly. We, Amazon. We want to show you those people that are right away. Uh, that are right away. Right. I, and then the other aspect of this is our, you know, if Ken starts calling cowboy trucking and dark greens and Triton, right. If he wants to send, set up, you know, either, you know, flags, Hey, I want to monitor this guy or, Hey, I want to set up a task where I call this guy next Monday. Mm-hmm. We have the ability to do that right there, and they can pull those up. Yep. Yep. There we go. Set yourself a reminder. I did it this morning. Yep. Got a call free broker back tomorrow. Yep. So. We'll either shoot you a text. We'll call you or email you. Yep. It's really simple. The, the call is kind of creepy. Yeah. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a computer voice, and it's like, hey, call Cowboy Trucking and Logistics. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably think about putting my voice on yeah, there. Yeah, I'd be so. It would be wonderful <laughs> if we had your voice on there. I'd love that. Yeah. But – you know, you have the ability to put them in a list, yeah. uh, or if you want to deep dive into Cowboy and actually take the time to go right into the carrier, you can, mm-hmm. right? You can add some notes on them if you talk to them. Yeah. Um, you know, if Ken's sitting there, you know, I need to sell every one of these these people chassis. Well, guess what? You're going to probably make cold calls, no mm-hmm. different than anybody. Right. And then from there, you're going to sit there and go, I talked to, I talked to Dave. Dave's the owner. Away we go. Right, right. right. Yeah. And that's what what's all in this contact info here too. So, you know, Ken has an ability to ask for names specifically. Yeah, so, absolutely. And then you can scroll down and, and start to do a lot of different things. You mm-hmm. can see what they're working on, who they're hauling for. <coughs> you can see all kinds of crazy stuff, yep. right? I mean, yep. there's there's a lot there's a lot going on here. Yep. They, look at that. In fact, you can see this guy is hauling for train. Mm. Uh, he's steamship. doing steamship lines, cowboy trucking, which is all him. Yep. But then, you know, Barber's is, is another terminal there. Yeah. So uh, one mission is definitely a lead. Mm-hmm. You can just kind of keep going through there and, yeah. and, and find some leads. So there, yeah. there's a couple good leads right there that we just even just shown. Yep. And then in a way you go. Exactly. Yeah, that's really cool. Ken's, Ken's in a – I think Ken can get some pretty good leads from here too. Oh, and start yeah. making those calls, having yeah, those conversations. Yeah, he can change his life on our website yeah for sure so um our carrier data i mean our data is going to be getting better and better you know i we get a lot of dispatchers too as well yep. so i want to kind of transition really yeah, quick. yeah real quick and ken if you have questions brother obviously feel free to drop them down and we'll transition back but bro uh dispatchers yeah what can they be doing on our site today well building those relationships with carriers obviously right you can find newly added carriers you can find carriers that have been in the game you know longer but we have leads to brokers on mm-hmm. there let's help you find those brokers in those areas, maybe where your carriers are running to, going to, right? Um, but yeah, so we have brokers I, on here. Uh, here's what I find interesting about, uh, no different than when I was a broker prior to, you know, the big C word, right? Mm-hmm. Prior to the big C word, uh, because YouTube doesn't like that word. Thanks for not saying it. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I could broker freight. I could post it up on a load board. I could get... 10 calls, I could make money and just move on. Yep. Dispatchers were no different. They're calling carriers, they're finding leads on load boards, <laughs> they're yep. just making money, yep. right? Everybody lived in this weird, beautiful land of bliss. They might not have felt like it before the big C, right. right? After the big C, if you're a dispatcher, how are you differentiating yourself? Yeah, true. Well, you... And the rest of them are still getting loads off load boards. Mm-hmm. The people that were successful are started nice. building relationships with brokers. Exactly. And what's interesting about our broker data is we start to kind of foreshadow some brokers that have additional data out there, right? Mm-hmm. And and I'll have Nate just go down there and, and select them. Just go to they have a Facebook page, they have a LinkedIn website, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. We'll show you some of their social sites. Mm-hmm. You know, our goal with our data is to have more data than the FMCSA. Right. Have deeper data than the FMCSA. And you're going to see it right here. Look at this. You can see you can see their Facebook group, their, their LinkedIn, their Twitter, their specialties. website, what their specialties are. You can find all kinds of crazy stuff. Those dispatchers that take the time to build those relationships, right. guess what? Looking for 
Kimono Savannah Tomb of the Mountain. Mm, that's kind of an interesting one. We'll we'll talk about that here yeah. in a sec. I like that. Yeah, and I, I can't stress enough too. Like this data here, like it helped me kind of break that ice with the freight brokers. Hey, mm -hmm. I see you guys are specializing in bulk. What are you guys doing to help find yourself more shippers? Right. Yeah. Like this this info does help you sound more confident on a phone call. I, I believe. I trust me. It does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was doing it this morning. It's yeah. Helpful. Absolutely. Um, there, there's nothing better than actually utilizing our own site to make a cold call right. um, and saying, hey, you know, I'm on your site or I saw your last Twitter mm -hmm. uh, or your last Facebook post, LinkedIn right. post, whatever it may be. And we're going to show you those different things. The other nice thing is we'll actually give you um, click click on the button to the right there. Yeah. We'll give you even further information if we can find it from mm -hmm. go down real quick. Yeah, here, look at this. Phone numbers, contact data, information. We'll tell you everything about them. So we're working on getting that 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 built up. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So power of e-carrier check. I like that. Truly helpful, yeah. Let's go back to some minimal mobile here. There we go. And George. And, you know, he mentioned 250-mile radius. I mean, we're right on the... Yeah, just yeah, for the sake of it, just do it. 252 is a good number. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah. So, at, you know, for me, intermodal, this is an interesting uh, industry. If you're familiar with intermodal or at least familiar enough, you know, the first the first bill of lading is not good. Mm -hmm. like Cub yeah. Yard, disaster. Right. Wando Public Terminal, disaster. Uh, ICOF sort of okay. MS Logistics, no. Container Port, no. Container Port Group, no. Uh, Georgia Port, no. Hub Sav, maybe, right? So now all of a sudden we're like, wait a minute, who's Wall Street Systems? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And and we're starting to now start to get in a little bit of the meat. How many pages are there? Uh, let's see. Nine yeah, pages. there's nine pages. Six so weeks. we can go through here. You got to remember, folks, we get our sales data which is really impressive man i love the way uh the sales data comes in because we get so much sales data we bring it in we know there's a plus minus five percent of bad to good leads uh so we know that there's some there's some bad leads out there right we get it we get handwritten friggin' bill of ladings yeah it is what it is yeah but we're willing to show it so come back in i somebody just mentioned something i don't know who it was let's just see <clears throat> Uh, I love that you use your own software prospect for clients, brokers that I cold call out there, scry out there. Yeah, you know, honestly, uh, you know, Tim says uh, that, that, you know, we're we're out there doing the exact same thing you guys yeah. are. Everybody's looking for a new shipper. Right. We just happen to be looking for more brokers and carriers is right. who we're looking for. Um, but thanks, thank you. Yeah. I mean, we appreciate that a lot. Um, but we're we're definitely a fan of using our own site to prospect yes. and do what we do. Yes. So. Uh, but if you're looking for intermodal leads, nine pages, you know, yes, we just wrapped through eight of them that weren't good. Yeah. There's there's some there's some high quality ones here that'll yeah. that'll come into those only for those people that understand that industry. Right, exactly. Right? And as you do find those good leads, John, you know, here's a way for you to put those good leads aside. Bookmark them. Good leads. What that conversation sound yeah. like? Set yourself some reminders. Here's that magnifying glass for you, John, to you know go out to their websites. Um, kind of gain more of that info, right, to, before you make that call there. But um, so, yeah, I mean, this is a really good platform to find some intermodal leads for sure. Yeah. You know, I, I hear something that's interesting about people's business models. And we are in one of the more challenging environments in trucking yes, we um, that I've been in in the last since I've started. Right. Um, and I'd probably say that about each one, but this one, this one seems to be taking the cake. I'm seeing more people go out of business right. in the brokerage and then the trucking industry than, than I've ever seen. And I, I get these guys that are, I mean, we just talked to a guy that had a hundred plus trucks, right? Yes. Yeah. I forgot about that. He had a hundred plus trucks. Crazy. His brokerage is focused in on the intermodal and you know, I don't know what it looks like, but here's here's what I can tell you. And I, I want to tell you one wonderful story is my I my daughter and I and my son and I, before we had our youngest, 
we went to this play park in Denver and it was super entertaining. There was all kinds of tunnels and slides and, you know, the kids, honestly, my dad, I remember my son coming out and he goes, dad, he goes, I felt like an explorer. Mm. And, and I said, well, how did that go? And he said, he goes, well, I came in this side of the tunnel and, and as a parent, we watched him go inside of that tunnel. And when he came out that other side of that tunnel, I, I'm not kidding. I, I'm not shitting you. He went in with a shirt and came out with a shirt, without a shirt. Without a shirt. He didn't have a shirt on. He went through that tunnel and went out with the, There was no shirt on. Yeah. Right? And I was like, what the heck happened? Which, I'm looking at my wife and I'm just tapping her on the shoulder. And I'm like, honey, he doesn't have a shirt on anymore. And she goes, she goes, you know, things will happen when you go through that. Yeah. And, and, I, and, you know, I don't know what it looks like when we come out of this tunnel. There's a possibility where Nate and I come through the tunnel. We don't have shirts on. And it's hot right now, so I'd be okay with that. But yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I, but I'm, say, I'm saying this economy, this yes. the way we're yeah. in, the where we're in right now, mm -hmm. is we don't know what we're going to look like when we get on the other side of the tunnel. And I think we need to be open to, you know what? I need to provide a bigger solution for my shipper. I need to provide a better solution for my shipper. Or I need to at least explore a conversation with my shipper and say, yes. here are things that I think I can help you with. Does mm. anything sound like it make would make sense? Yes. Right? Yes. No matter what, at the end of the day, we're a relationship platform. We help you find shippers. We help you find brokers. And we help you find carriers. And, yes, we're up to date. We're daily. Yep. This is what we do. Yep. Uh, we're, we're the king of this. There isn't a better right. database for this. Right. But I tell you what, you've got to explore and be willing to be flexible in today's environment. Right. right. Yeah. And for those of you who just, you know, are new here today, we're a month to month service, right? Mm -hmm. No contracts. You can bug me and Jared all you want all week. All day. I help people out constantly through email. So we're here to help you. Yeah. Um, kind of understand our vision with this product and to help you see that vision yeah. and kind of go with it. Yeah, so. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We're, we're trying to help people grow. We're trying to grow with everybody. And if we can do those things, we will, because yeah. this is what we do. Right. This right. is what we do. You know what I mean? You know, we got eight people here, probably more that's on. If there's any questions, we'd sure love to hear them, help you answer them. Comments, we're open. Anything, if right. you want us to take our shirts off, let me know. Well, you know, it's, <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's hump day, I'm down. You know what I mean? Um, real quick, though, you know, I think, uh, no, that's the same one. Uh, real quick, I do want to talk a little bit more, and you kind of went kind of quick. Yeah. Um, it's about our shipper data. Our shipper data is really, really large, mm -hmm. it's really powerful. Um, and I just want to dive into it. Do, do you mind just going in to go back up and just go to the kind of the main page? Find shippers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, something that I think is really interesting is no different than how you were looking for carriers. We have the same concept yeah. here, right? So if, if I'm one of those guys, um, new broker in Chicago, I love that tray. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'd love to hear how long you've been going, man, and how many shippers you got. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that yeah. you're on, and then we're here to help you. Link right? up with us on God, LinkedIn. We'd yeah. love to talk to you. We'd love to help you, man. Yeah. This is super exciting. I love that. Yeah, but you know, we were just in carriers, we're talking about vans, driver, you know, intermodal. Obviously, we're doing a little more intermodal than normal, but let's right. just let's hop into the regular stuff, drive in. You know what I mean? And we're just down in Savannah, Georgia. It's fine, just click on that. and uh, we're gonna have so many pages we don't know really what to do with all that pages. it's 50 pages and there's 50 friggin shippers but i want to walk through what this all means um you know we show different levels of shippers and how we do that is we get so many bill of ladings you know we kind of call we classify shippers with how big are those shippers how easy is it to get into we have a hiring index mm -hmm. right um, you know, geographically speaking, where do they ship? I'm gonna let you take it because I got a little bit of a drink issue. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. You know, how likely are they using those those brokers like yourself, right? That's what the hiring yep. index is. Um, you talked about size of volume, right? You talked about the kind of that shippers network. Yeah. And what's really nice is we can sort mm. some of those features. Yeah. We can do hiring index. Yeah. We can oh, I love this. Name. The sort by is wonderful. Yes. Yeah, super nice. Big fan of that. Let's go to Crescent Foods. They're the highest hiring index we have right here. Um, 82%. Let's just go down real quick. Um, there they are. They're vans. We have the ability to do a lot of different things. Number one, 
we can leave reviews on shippers. Oh, yeah. We have a public concept where you, as the broker, as the dispatcher, as the carrier, can go in and give them a kudos and a freight flop. Don't be afraid to do this. We have exactly. hundreds of reviews on our site. We'd like to get to thousands of reviews. Um, but you can give those things. You can go out. If you click that magnifying glass at the top, guess what we can do? We can go out and find them. There they are. Uh, they're hand-cut meat products. Mm. I friggin' love meat, yeah. Nate. I don't know what to tell you. If, honestly, you know what I wouldn't mind doing is an entire show where you and I put a meat and cheese tray right here. We eat the entire thing. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not forget that tequila you were yeah, talking about earlier. Yeah. But you, you can see how we have the ability to bring this in um, and, and just take you right to their page. Go, go back into ECC real quick. Um, and we can give you some of those things to talk about, right? right? How hard is a cold call? You and I have made, I, I mean, we've made so many calls together, right? I want to at least be a little bit prepared mm -hmm. and talk about the fact that, hey, you know, how do I use this? Real quick, I'm just going to, we're just going to talk about this yeah. real quick. How do I use this? Go back, go back up. Okay. Look at this. When this cold call happens, we can say, hey, you know what we do? is we work on specifically dry vans and wherever they're out of, I don't know where they're out of here, but we could get into that. You know, we work on specifically dry vans that, that are safe carriers that have taken the time to make sure that their equipment's up to date. And we have the ability to trailer drop and do team drives. Mm. Would that be something you'd be more interested in talking about? Right. Cause we're showing, Woo! we're showing trailer drop 16%. That cold call is a lot different when you say those things. Right. Then, I got a truck in your area. You're talking their world now. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's... how do we use this system? It's right here. They've got out of service. They sure as hell know as a shipper. And if they don't, we need to educate them. How many of their loads have been out of service in the last six months? Well, at e-carrier check, we can show you. Yeah. We can give you that ability from what we see has been out of service. Right. Now, now, that's not all of them, but I promise you that's, well, that's all of them that we've seen. Right. right? So trailer drops. We know that they're doing trailer drops. We know they're doing driver teams. And then if you scroll down even a little bit further, uh, we'll give you the idea of, well, here's where some of those bill of ladings are going. So we know, hey, maybe we just focus on the Eastern Atlantic Corn right. Belt concept right. right there. Or maybe we just go direct and say, you know what? We love Los Angeles. Right. Mm -hmm. But we want to give you direct ways to make a sales call. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how you use our data. I would feel more confident knowing this on a call than if I was kind of going in blindfolded. Yeah. I want you know, if I would have just found their website, I wouldn't I, you wouldn't have known any of this. No. You wouldn't have known they're doing trailer drops. Right. And no. using and using vans and good lord. I, you know, one of the first calls I ever made as an LTL rep, L lesson truckload. I'm gonna email you guys. Yeah, yeah it, honestly, sure, Trey, I'd love to connect. Uh, but one of my one of my favorite leads that I ever walked into, this guy said, Hey make sure you know i live in farming country we're out in the middle of nowhere in nebraska here and he said hey make sure you you know check in with uh you know these irrigation companies <laughs> and i walked into an irrigation company that was in gary it's just right over here about three miles away and i had a nice i really looked nice that day yeah. I had a nice suit on you know i'm in trucking i didn't know any different this mm -hmm. is 2008 and and i said hey you know, we're an LTL company that does freight from Chicago to, to uh, you know, to Denver and, and with an emphasis in Nebraska, we're called Nebraska Transport, and I would love an opportunity to work with you. And this old lady looks at me and says, and at this point, I didn't know this, but boy, I wish I'd have had, L, you know, e-carrier check at that time. Yes. But at this point, this old lady looks at me and she goes, son, do you know what we do here? And I said, I I you know, realistically, I don't. You know, this is when Blackberries were coming to think. Right. When we doubted Android and iPhone for putting their buttons in the phone, not on the phone. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's put that in perspective. Yeah. And I, I said, I have no idea. And she goes, all we do is control the amount of water that all these farmers get. We don't ship a thing. And all I did was irrigation companies in 
Gary Nebraska. Right. I got on Google and did that. And if we had the ability to do that, uh, you know, if I'd have had a carrier check, I probably would have not walked in there, but I'd have walked in there more prepared. Right. right? Exactly. So, uh, Juan Valdez, who I think I have a meeting with Juan tomorrow. Yep. Uh, if you get set up with a big shipper, how do you get them to send you an RFQ? Mm. Uh, Juan, what a wonderful question. Um, what a great question. Yeah. You know, every shipper has every shipper has their own, you know, process in place, right? So uh, if you get a if you get a in with a big shipper, you know, those are questions that I would ask when you're talking to them about things. Hey. Do you RFQ your freight? You know, and essentially that just means request for quote. Um, you know, do you RFQ your freight or is it spot market? Are you looking for contract carriers? Um, you know, those are questions that once you get to that point, one, good job for getting to this point, right? But, you know, how do you, how do you get them to send you an RFQ? Those are things that they probably do in their day-to-day -day business. You need to become a trusted partner yeah. and just continue to build that relationship up with them. Um, and those things will come. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. A lot of shippers usually do RFQs later in the year or at least the second half of the year instead of the first half of the year. Um, and they'll make them effective for the following year. Sure. Boy, I tell you what, it seems like uh, with the way – I mean, it wasn't 18 months ago and rates were, you know, six bucks a mile. Right. I remember hearing for you intermodal guys. I remember hearing about a company that was doing intermodal rips from LA out to Maryland, East coast sort of thing. And they're charging 20 grand a rip. Wow. It was insane to me. Right. right? So our cyclical cycle is speeding up. Right. And we're probably going to see instead of these big drastic dips, we're going to see a lot of this. Right. Right now we're we're flopping. We're we're heading straight down. Uh, there's a lot of challenges. RFQs for 2024, if I was going to predict them, um, you know, fuels going up. I'm going to guess that the, the rates, you know, will continue to show a climb um, and things should tighten. We're seeing so many carriers and brokers go out of business um on e carrier check we show that you can show that in the demo yeah. but my guess is uh 2024 rfqs uh is you're going to see a continued tightening um and and you'll see those rates at least stay at the level they're at but potentially go up so there's yeah. not there's not a we're not going back down i'll yeah. tell you that yeah. i'll tell you that for this coming year presidential election there's some crazy shit going on so um but real quick show them show them that if you don't mind i know we're 40 some minutes in yeah. here and we may not have gotten all we the got some people still here so i appreciate yeah. that yeah absolutely um what do you want to show again <laughs> <laughs> maybe, this, maybe i need tequila <laughs> uh, i love it i love it i love it um you know the guys that are going out the guys that okay. are going out you know if you just yeah. scroll down um, yes. we have a couple different I'm things back. on here and I think I'm back, but you know, we like to show where's fuel at. We pull that for you. Um, you know, we also like to show you, okay, here's the fuel. Here's how many people went out in that region when it comes to authorities. Uh, and we were big fans of showing, um, you know, where that's at. That number has been negative for oh, gosh. weeks yeah. on end here at this yeah. point. Right. So, you know, we're, we're definitely losing people. The economy's not good. You know, we just saw a huge carrier go out yesterday, 100 trucks. Yeah. They've been around for 100 years. Right. Uh, and they just weren't, you know, they just, they weren't able to, to survive. And I don't know enough about that company to, right. to, to critique it in any which way. I don't want to judge it because there was a lot of families that were affected. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's, that's, it's real. Yeah. This is, this is real. Right. You know, the reset is happening as we speak right in front of you. Right. So, you know, something that kind of stuck with me, you know, we'll, we'll be ending the show here, but if you got questions, drop it in. But one thing that stuck with me when we were kind of chatting, have a drink the other day was, mm. you know, the beauty or the art of the phone, the sales call will never go away. No, you no, know, it's time for us to be different. Mm -hmm. And this will never go away. Everyone's getting emails. Everyone's getting texts. You guys are probably getting them from me. I apologize. But, um, <laughs> but we got to be different. I think, like you said the other day was this ain't going away. No. 
we're still going to have conversations, be talk to a human. Yeah. You know, that's, there's no other way about it. There's no other way of going around it. You know, it's something that we all just got to try to learn. Yeah. At, so. Yeah. I'm on this weird biography kick right now. Forgive me for this for just, <laughs> just a couple seconds, but, uh, uh, he was a famous, famous CEO and, you know, he would ask his management team and the people around him that he trusted the most was, you know, a lot of people would say, well, what's going to change in this industry in the next 10 years? Right. And, and I hear this a lot, right? You, well, what's going to change? And you could go down the list of randomness, but the question he always liked to ask was what isn't going to change? Mm. What's going to stay consistent? And, you know, we still have to have human interaction. Yeah. We still have to have relationships. And this right. is why I love you carry your check. Exactly. This is why I love what we do right. is because we have the ability and help right here on this platform. Um, as we continue to transition into the new e carrier check and the, the, how do we continue to be at the forefront of helping you build those relationships? That's what we're doing. And that's what you continue to see. Yeah. So, um, always, always keep that in mind is how can I better my business? Right. What in my business isn't going to change and what is, and just be ready to be flexible. Right. And I think what's, you know, calming for me anyways, and I think for other people that I've heard over the phone, tell me this, it's nice to know that e-carrier check was built by someone and that's been in the seat mm. and been through some crazy yes, cycles. Right. I've been, I've been through, <laughs> Oh dear God. I'm surprised I'm still here. Well, I'm surprised my hair's not gray or, or gone for that matter. Right. Although I do have a nice set of hair, you, do. you know, if you look wonderful, Good set. Um, but uh, I, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, it's definitely, we're in a, we're in a weird market right now. It's right. turning. Is it going to come back? You know, those those are things that'll happen because it's just the way life is. Everything's right. cyclical, and with those drops become opportunities. Right. And so we need to make sure that we're staying in that forefront and, yeah. and getting better at what we do. Exactly. So yeah. Well, I, had uh, a, I enjoyed today, man. I loved it. Appreciate it was a good demo. Uh, great questions. Juan, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, definitely, Trey, connect with us, man. Let us yeah. know how we can help you or give you maybe some insights that we're seeing from a lot of other brokers, right. uh, dispatchers, carriers that we that we help on a daily basis. Exactly. So, uh, number one point of this show is to educationally mm -hmm. uh, help people out and stay in front of the trends and, and yeah. to do those things. So yeah. we're, we're right here. Yep. And uh, Friday we'll be going live too. We'll have Mr. Charles Mundy, Exodus mm. Logistics. I am love so that. excited. Love that. Um, he's dude. got a great crowd. I love him and his crowd. Good dude. But we're going to talk about how to end the year off strong. Yep. We're, it's quickly approaching. What are you doing, right? Let's create some relationships. Yeah. So, Q4 starts Monday exactly. and I'm ready to go to class. So let's right. uh, let's see where that goes. Charles, yeah. I'm looking forward to having you on. Yep. Uh, thanks for being on. Thanks for all the questions. Yep. Um, let's go find some tequila shots, Nate. Let's it looks like it. maybe you and I need to do that. So. I agree. See you guys. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Oh, I guess we'll see you Friday. Yeah. Shit, I don't know what the hell's going on. Tequila already. <laughs> <laughs>